Again in Kenya, where leaders of the African Union have ended their fifth mid-year coordination meeting, which focused on accelerating the implementation of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. They all agreed that there is the need for a renewed commitment to meeting developmental goals and strengthening democratic governance. Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu represented ECOWAS and called for the continent to unite against external forces seeking to plunder Africa. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde has details. Leaders of the African Union arriving for the fifth media coordination meeting with heads of regional economic communities, regional mechanisms and the AU member states. The theme is the acceleration of the African continental free trade area implementation. With this, Africa seems on the path to catch up with the global pace of development and also demand for fairness and equality in the world order. Nigeria's president is attending in his capacity as the chairman of ECOWAS and in his own status brief, he called on leaders of Africa and its people to resist any attempt by imperialistic interests to scramble for Africa. The challenges we face mean that governance will be difficult. They also mean that visionary good governance is necessary. Some observers have said a new scramble for Africa is a good arm. It is much like the old scrum that plundered our country. But here and now, let it be said to whoever the new scramblers might be. Our country may be old, but our spirit is new. <laughs> And it is true, the bad that took place in the past must not stay here. It shall never be your reunion. The president of Kenya, William Ruto, reiterated calls for a financing system that is fair to all, as opposed to one that is equal to some countries and unfair to others. Today, we have a debt stock of 600 and $40 billion as Africans, paying close to $70 billion every year. If we had a fair financial architecture that treats everybody fairly and that does not profile Africa as risky, we would be paying less than half what we are paying today in debt repayments. This fifth media coordination meeting is to compare notes and get progress report on the journey to an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa, driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena. A complete implementation of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area could be a homegrown solution to problems and challenges that have slowed down growth and development on the continent for decades. But Nigeria's president, who is also the chairman of ECOWAS, may be the man to look out for as he appears to bring on a new sense of political will and a desire to push the continent closer towards achieving its goals of eradicating poverty, silencing the guns, and strengthening democracy. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Nairobi, Kenya.